everyone, I'm Tazneem bringing you this week's movie review. Two big films released together on Republic Day, Shah Rukh Khan's Reis and Hrithik Roshan's Kabil. And while Hrithik didn't see much success with his 2016 release Mohenjo-daro, the actor returns in top form in Sanjay Gupta's latest, also starring Yami Gautam. The movie tells a love story of two visually impaired people, and tackling a topic as sensitive as physical disability is tricky as one must be sure to not offend any viewers, groups, or or communities. Keeping all that in mind, let's take a look at the review of Kabil. Rohan, played by Hrithik Roshan, and Supriya, played by Yami Gautam, meet through a matchmaker and fall in love. While both are blind, they are also independent working individuals who are very self-sufficient. Supriya is a musician and Rohan is a voiceover artist who also has a heightened sense of smell and hearing. Soon after the two marry, they are faced with a heinous crime and tragedy that soon follows. When the police refuse to help, Rohan takes it upon himself to get justice. Kabil works in two parts, while the first half is a sweet, charming love story about two blind people who fall in love, the second half is a revenge action film against those in power. Therefore, the tone of the overall movie is a bit inconsistent. However, Kabil is still a solid watch with an engaging storyline that keeps you interested throughout. Director Sanjay Gupta makes a conscious effort to not let Rithik's character come across as someone who we should pity. Therefore, we are rooting for the underdog and for him to come out as the hero who triumphs at the end. The action scenes are well shot with an ending that's solid. But despite all this, the movie lacks originality and sleekness of other revenge films we've seen in the past. Also, many scenes and backgrounds are computer generated, which are obvious and takes away from the film. For all these reasons, Kabil becomes an average watch. The entire film rests on Rithik's shoulders. His fans will be thrilled to see the actor return in top form and deliver a great performance. While in the first half, he charms us with his romantic side, in the second half, he is fierce and the ultimate action hero. He is believable and does a good job portraying Rohan's limitations. Yami Gautam is also impressive. She plays her part effortlessly, and her chemistry with Rithik is also genuine. Ronit Roy as the quintessential bad guy is great, however, we've seen him play this type of role many times, so it's nothing new for the talented actor. Gabel's music is average, none of the songs manage to leave a mark. The movie is not a great watch nor a perfect film, but it is worth a one-time view. It's a strong comeback for Rithik Roshan after Mohenjo-daro, and for the good performances and entertainment factor we're going with three stars. Kabil is definitely worth a watch, at least for Rithik Roshan's performance. 